around. DK Metcalf getting the bag yesterday. $72 million, three-year extension for the Seattle Seahawks, making him the highest paid player on the roster. I think the sixth highest paid wide receiver in the league, a $30 million signing bonus. Are they paying overs? Are they paying unders? Do you agree with the price tag for Metcalf? Dubsy, thank you for having me on. And, uh, you know, we've talked about DK before. I'm a huge DK Metcalf fan. I am happy this deal got done. And I think the Seahawks were ready to get it done because DK held out for, what, two days during training camp? And they were like, all right, let's figure this out. Now he gets the money that he deserves. It's not as long of a deal as probably Seattle would like, given the fact that DK is only 24 years old, which is absolutely nuts. But they give him this $30 million signing bonus dubs making him now like you said the highest paid seahawks on the roster having said that though it is the highest signing bonus 30 mil for a receiver um and it really makes sense you look at what metcalf has done at 216 catches 3170 yards 29 touchdowns this is over three seasons DK has never missed a game. He played last season with essentially a broken bone in his foot. He had to get surgery on that during the offseason. But the Seahawks need DK Metcalf to even have a chance at having a successful season. And it's kind of hard, Dubs, when you look at Metcalf's stats because it, it gets skewed a little bit because they also have a great wide receiver in Tyler Lockett. So he's splitting yeah. reps with them. And, and not to mention, you know, things weren't all fantastic with Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf. Metcalf last year there was a little bit of drama on the field you could see some frustration coming from Metcalf you know he probably wouldn't admit to it but everyone loves to praise Russ but let's talk about it when Russell Wilson came back from his finger injury it wasn't fantastic for him and DK Metcalf didn't feel like he was getting targeted enough so let's see whether it's Geno Smith or Drew Locke DK Metcalf's going to be probably the only bit of hope for the Seattle Seahawks